in this video let us look into the topic divisibility now what is divisibility it's just dividing something say for example we've got a circular pizza you know a pizza of some kind say it's like this and say for example you've got four friends including you who need to share this now so what do you do now all you have to do is just divide this pizza into four pieces right just you know the simplest way to divide this pizza into four pieces is just draw two straight lines like this and then you've got one two three and four equal pieces of pizza so this is divisibility and this is division or this is even you know we can even call it splitting of a pizza or you know sharing of pizza so everything kind of is linked to divisibility so now apart from these kind of activities like dividing a pizza which happen in our uh, common lives you know which happens in our everyday lives let us go into the specific topic of divisibility as far as numbers are concerned or more specifically speaking real numbers are concerned so in this video let us look into the topic of divisibility as far as real numbers are concerned what happens when you divide real numbers that is what we're going to look into in this video now so so let's take say for example now 3 divides 36 3 divides 36 because there exists a number 12 right there exists a number 12 such that 36 equals 12 times 3 so this is what it is all about this is what division of real numbers all about so if you want to divide 36 by 3 you can divide it because there is a number 12 which when multiplied by 3 3 gives you 36 now let me make it clear in this case we are not talking about dividing unequally that's not what we are talking about we are talking about dividing perfectly such that the, such that the remainder is zero let us go to that part where the remainder is something so but in this case we are talking about something where the remainder is zero so now if you take 36 and you divide it by 3 you get 12 which is nothing but i mean 3 divides 36 because there exists a number 12 such that 36 equals 12 times 3 so this is what is division all about this is what we've been doing or say in some other form say 60 divided by 5 so it is 12 times 5 12 times is 60 the remainder is 0 now 5 divides 60 because there is a number 12 which gets multiplied with 5 and gives you 60 that is nothing but 12 times 5 is 60 so there exists something like this there is a justification for this equal sign but then if you say for example you take a number 35 35 and say you want to divide it by 3 this doesn't divide 35 3 doesn't divide 35 completely because there is say for example 3 11 times is 33 and there is a remainder of 2 so you cannot say 3 times 11 equals 35 this is an invalid statement because 3 times 11 is 33 nor can you say 3 times something say a equals 35 because a is not going to be a whole number you know or it's not going to be a non-decimal number so that is one of the important things that we have to look into in this small topic so now what we know about divisibility in a very casual way or an informal way but in speaking about divisibility in a formal way what is it so here is what it is here is the definition of divisibility a non-zero integer a is set to divide an integer b if there exists an integer c such that b equals a c so this is exactly what we've been talking about in this case in this case a non-zero integer a is 3 now this is going to divide 36 which is b and if there exists an integer c such that b equals a c and in this case the c is 12 so there does exist an integer c in this case which is 12 such that you get 36 equals 12 times 3 so this is the formal definition of divisibility now another thing that we we need to learn is it's a very simple thing now say for example if a non-zero integer a divides an integer b then then how do we write it we write it like this we divide we write it like a divides b right so this is read as a divides b when a divides b we say that 
b is divisible by a or a is a factor of b right so b is divisible by a or a is a factor of b or rather b is a multiple of a or a is a divisor divisor of b so these few notations that i told in the last few sentences are pretty important let me list them down for you here so here are the five different ways in which you can express this notation here a divides b one is a divides b itself another one is b is divisible by a and another one is a is a factor of b and another one is b is a multiple of a and the last one is a is a divisor of b so these are the different ways of expressing this notation so this video in general covers the basic term divisibility and what it means we've got a formal definition here and then we've got just the informal explanations going on here and then we've also got an example here which is a pizza and then we divide it into four pieces to share it among four people so this is all is divisibility